Hello friends, welcome to BISPtrainings.com and we are continue to building our HR analytical model. Today I am going to show you how to build a dual access chart for HR expenses. So the model which we are going to work, quickly I will show you the graphical visualization of it. We have an employee expense fact and the type of expenses and in addition to this we see the expense with respect to different time dimension, different account different employees, different positions, and different account details. So we are going to find out the employee actual expenses and forecast expense using dual access chart. Before we build a dual access chart, I like to show you how it graphically look like. You see, this is what we are going to show today. So my chart consists of bar chart and line chart, and they are overlapping to each other, you see. So I'm going to see employee actual expenses and forecast expenses, you know, with respect to different positions. Right. In order to make it easy to understand, I have also given the option to my end user to filter on positions and employee expense type. So there are different kind of expenses. So we are trying to evaluate employee actual and forecast training expenses across different positions. So let's see how it works. I'm going to build a model first. Um, we build a model. I use Tableau 9.0 Evaluation Edition, and I connect to my data source. My model is exists in my Oracle database. So I connect to my data source, Oracle, I pass the server details, my database is stored in the same system and the SID is ORCL, this is my HR model, and the schema name is HR schema, you can type over here HR, start with and you can search it, you got HR model. Okay. Now to bring all the tables, there are multiple tables, there are 77 tables, they consist of dimension and facts. So by looking at the model, I'm going to design this model. I need an employee expense fact, I need employee expense type and employee expense lookup and dimension like employee dimension, time dimension, organization dimension and finance and all. So simply drag and drop and build your model. Start with employee expense fact, right? Then because employee expense fact, then I build employee dimension, employee position, position lookup, type of expenses, expense type, and same way I build the whole model and eventually this is how it look like. Once your model gets built, it look like this way, right? We will be doing multiple kind of analysis in this model. We start with actual and forecast model. So let's start visualizing it. So you see I have got these dimension, employee, expense, type, position. I have got these facts. There are two kind of facts. I have got actual fact, actual expenses and I have got forecast expenses. Right. I like to evaluate actual and forecast expenses across different expense type. So I will take employee expense. There are different kind of expenses. I'll take employee expense type. And they support multiple language. I drag and put into my rows. So I got multiple kind of expenses. I would like to confine my focus to training expense. So I filter it on training expenses only. Okay, training expense. Um, what I like to achieve? Training expense across actual and forecast training expense across different positions right so i'll in rows i apply actual expenses forecast expenses actual and forecast expense i want to place them in a single may single access so i drag and drop put it over here right so i got two major employee expense and forecast expenses okay, across all positions so position information you can find over here position lookup because there are two different, there are multiple positions. I like to confine my focus to few positions. You can drag and drop and select a couple of positions for the sake of testing. Also, I like to apply over here the option of show quick filter. So let users decide which position and which expense group people like to filter. My access are not in sync, so I can right click and sync both the access. So default view is a shape. Right, I'll change the shape first. Uh, this one is my 
actual expenses i like to display the bar chart and forecast expense like to display the line chart and you see they are overlapping you can also change the order and you see if you change the order the line you know line chart gets uh, hidden behind the bar chart if this situation happen what you can do you can do go to the color and increase decrease the transparency you know sorry decrease the transparency for your actual expenses not for your line so i increase it for line but decrease for my bar chart so that you can see that because of transparency you can see your line chart bar chart display both together okay in addition to this i also like to display major so that people can easily read it so i actual expenses i display over here actual expenses as a label and forecast expense also i display the label right because they are currencies so i like to format this as well you can click on this click on the majors or label or you can define a formatting as well you can hide and show the label as well okay. so in font change the color color style whatever you like to do it you can apply over here isn't it in addition to this i click on this and go to go to my majors and apply formatting format because they are currencies let's change the data type um, my forecast is a expenses it's a currency i change the number type to currency type and you can define currency symbol as well okay in addition to this you can also apply currencies for actual and forecast both both of them are currency type select a standard currency you can give a custom option as well and change your currency your know, columns unit separate a thousand like display in whichever format you like to display this is dollar symbol right so you have this option available to you you can define this option if you find the numbers are overlapping you can drag and drop and place you know position them in a different place right so this is how you can build a dwell chart and this chart in terms of business meaning talk about my actual expenses and forecast expenses my line chart display forecast expense and bar chart display actual expenses across different position type so that's it for today uh, if you like the video please hit like you can subscribe to our youtube channel and access more than 1000 videos on different bi products should you have any question related to training and consulting please feel free to visit our site www.bisptrainings.com thank you